Hi, I'm Tom with QAT. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your two bike transfer rack. These instructions uh, also apply to your three bike transfer rack. So if you do have that one, this video is good for you as well. So the first step is to take your front tire scoop and you're going to slide this onto the end of the U fork for the rack. Slide it over the end and it's going to go all the way down to that very last hole. The bolt goes through the hole on the end, and you're going to tighten that down with your Allen key. Okay, so step number two is to install the rear tire scoop on the rack. This will be on the other side of the U-fork. So you'll slide the rear tire scoop onto the U-fork with the hole for the bolt on the inside. Slide it right down to that last bolt. Use your bolt here with the sleeve on it, insert it into the hole, and tighten it down just like you did on the other side. Okay, after you get that nice and snug, you move on to the next step. Okay, so step three, you're going to install the puck onto the U-fork. That's going to go on the same side as your front tire scoop that you installed. Now, on the inside of this puck, there are factory installed nuts that are mounted on the inside of this. So since we're installing these two bolts from the inside of the U-fork, those nuts on the inside need to be on the outside. So when you slide this on, you're going to slide it right down to the three bolts close to your front tire scoop. The two bolts here, we're going to go on the outside two holes. So again, there's three holes on the inside of this, and those two are going to go on the outside. So we'll go ahead and get these two tightened down with our Allen key. Okay, so step number four is to assemble the first ratchet arm on the rack. It notes in the instructions that you want to start with the, the tube without the decal. So I've laid them both out so you can distinguish between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the one with the Kuat decal. So the first step in this process is to take the tube for the ratchet arm and the hook and put those two pieces together. Now the whole process is really important uh, to get this just right, how the pieces need to go together. So I, I, I would pay close attention to this part of the instructions. The tube on one side has a series of ridges. Um, this is the ratchet ladder on the tube. And then the hook, of course, hook on one side, and then a button on the other. The button and the ratchet ladder go together. So when you put the tube into the hook, uh, depress the button, and slide the two together. The hook needs to be on the same side of the tube as the ratchet ladder. That way, when these two are together, that button can ride along the ratchet ladder. Now, the next step is to insert the tube for the ratchet arm into the pivot. Now it's important the direction here as well. If you'll look at this piece, uh, there's one side that's fairly flat and then there's one side that has uh, a, a decent curve to it that comes around this, this circle. The curved portion is going to want you want it to go on the inside of the rack. So with your tube and ratchet or with your ratchet and hook in one end one hand and the pivot in the other, the two going together like that with that curve on the inside. Now down at the base there are two bolt holes that you'll line up. Then you'll take your bolts with your nuts and slide those through. And that goes on the other end. Now, using your Allen key, you'll tighten these down. Okay, for step number five, you're going to install that ratchet arm that you just put together onto the body of the rack. So the parts you'll need will be this long bolt with threads on the end and this large washer that has a uh, slight curve in it. So the first step is to take your ratchet arm and you're going to slide it onto the body of the rack. Now the uh, curved portion or the ratcheting hook uh, needs to face the back part of the rack or toward the decal. So as you slide that ratchet arm onto the body of the rack, 
and you'll slide it over that puck, lining everything up. Again, that curved section that we talked about before, that's going to be on the inside of the u fork. Okay, next you'll apply the bolt and the washer to the ratcheting arm. This large washer has a slight curve uh, in it. The, the curve you're going to want to lay against the pivot for the ratchet arm. It's going to kind of slide up and down in this track. So the bolt goes through the hole in the middle and then into the puck that you slid the ratchet arm over. Take your Allen key and go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, for step 12, it's time to install the hitch shank onto your rack. For this step, it's a lot easier to install if you flip the rack upside down. So I've taken the rack and I've turned it over. So step one is to take that hitch shank and you're going to slide it into the pivoting area on the rack, uh, lining up those holes. So there's a large hole there. Once they're lined up, take your long bolt and slide it through the pivoting area. The nut goes on the other side. At this point, you can go ahead and take your Allen wrench and your wrench and tighten down that pivot. Okay, once you have your bolt installed, you can go ahead and remove that stretch wrap. Okay, the last step in the assembly is to insert your rear tire straps onto the rear tire scoop on your rack. So take your strap and you're going to thread it from underneath, sliding it up through the little ratchet. Uh, depressing the button I will allow you to slide it all the way through. Taking the other end, sliding it right down through the other side. You'll follow the same step for the second rear tire scoop. Well, I hope this video has been informative. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to shoot us an email at info at qatracks.com or give our service team a call at 417-889-5820. Well, now that your rack's put together, get out there and enjoy the ride. Thank you.